items we're going to need for this project are pretty simple. We've got our roll of Reflectix. I bought this one, showed you there. It was uh, about 40 bucks. It is a 48 inch long by 25 foot wide roll. To be cutting that, I'm going to be using my trusty little razor knife there. Uh, you can always use a pair of scissors, which would work as well. I just kind of think cutting it out here on the floor, that's gonna work better. You're gonna need trusty measuring tape to be able to measure and take your measurements to then measure out your measurements with your measuring tape. A Sharpie so that you can make marks on this so that you know where to cut. And then lastly, get a straight edge piece. I found this piece here. It's about, I don't know, eight or nine feet long uh, for that. It has a big straight edge on it that I can use to run the knife across to cut it once I get it uh, laid out. So let's go inside and take some measurements and make sure the right length that I'm going to need off the front of the windshield of the RV. The first measurement that I'm actually going to take is just the the height measurement of the window and I'm going to take it a couple of places but I anticipate it's probably going to be the same all the way across. So I'm going to shove this down here as far as I can and just picking a spot on the windshield. It looks to be about 40 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this a couple other places just to verify that it is in fact the same and that it hasn't shifted. And again, it appears to be right about 39 and a half to 40 inches. So when I actually cut this, I'm actually gonna try to cut it a little bit above 40 inches because it will actually tuck a little bit down this crack that I see around the bottom edge. And there's a little bit of a gap along the top edge. And I'm gonna try to take advantage of that little gap here along this top edge and see if I can't kind of tuck it up underneath there but I want to get it as close to that 40 inches as possible. The second measurement that I'm going to take, because this is a curved windshield, is I'm actually going to try to take one that goes all the way around the edge, clear back to here, behind this piece here, and just measure it all the way across the entire top of this, bending it as I go. And it looks like it's about 54 inches, 54 inches from the edge to the center channel of my windshield. So it would be about 108 inches total to wrap clear around the other side uh, of the windshield. If you have a single pane glass or it doesn't have the curved edges, that obviously makes it a lot easier to do. But we'll probably cut it a little longer than we need because we can always cut more off. So probably go at about 110 inches and then as we get it up here, make a final cut and kind of narrow it down once we get it in there. Doing this on the inside with this curved glass like this that wraps all the way around. A lot of products that I've seen, they just open up and they're flat, flat squares or flat rectangles. And they look to be, I can find them online to be close to the right height. Some are a little bit too long and some are too short. They're not really the Goldilocks that I'm looking for and they really would only come out to about here which wouldn't then cover all this here, which again is not critical. You can buy them for anywhere from 25 to $45 online, but this roll of stuff, if we can do it, will be custom. It'll get the whole edge wrap around the way that I want it. And it's actually enough that should be able to do two uh, RVs or at least do an extra, do an extra one. I can cut two and save one back so that if for some reason this one ever gets torn or a, uh, I have a problem with it or the sun fades it or destroys it over time, then I've got a backup one too. Well, you know, there's the old adage of measure twice, cut once. I measured that width again and it was a little bit longer than I thought. Either I didn't quite bend it close enough to the curvature, that's what I think the problem was. So total measurements I came up with right there is 116 by 41 and a half. That overshoots it by about an inch on the width and a half an inch plus or minus there on the, on the height. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut this open like I've done. And it is in a naturally curled state as it is now. So I'm kind of thinking that may play to the advantage leaving this curved edge as it might curve around the window. So I want to keep, keep the curved edge. And it's actually reflective on both sides 
I don't know whether that helps or not, but it, it's got a air bubble in the middle and foil on the outside edge. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out, and I've got to, got to measure out 116 inches and make a cut. Now that I've got those two marks, I'm just gonna run a straight edge down between them. That's a big windshield. I'm glad mine's in two pieces. You guys that have the single piece windshields better have that glass deductible buyback on your insurance if they allow it because those things get pretty pricey. Uh, I've gone ahead and measured the 41 and a half inches uh, up to this stick down at the edge. I did find that this product even though it says 48 inches is actually a little bit over 48 inches it's not exact so measure it off whatever end you feel comfortable with depending on your tolerance level. The flat piece that I've got isn't quite long enough uh, to make it all the way to the end so I'm going to go ahead and cut what I've got and then I'll just shift it down and cut the last little piece and we'll give it a trial dry fit. Let's go see how she fits. Well, in keeping with the natural curvature, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, but this thing did curl right back up, which I'm hoping is going to be a good thing. I'm going to have to uncurl it in order to get the right edge over here to the right side, or I could have just started from the other side, I guess, but we like to do things the hard way. Okay. I'm telling you right now that it is too, too long for what I needed. I've got it shoved up here to the top, flat edge, and it's all the way back to that edge. And it's looking like I'm going to have to cut off about an inch so there, which I overshot it on purpose. So I'm going to go back and trim off an inch and uh, then we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, that seems to be about lined up about where we need it to. I'm just going to push it back and follow the curvature. Okay, and getting to my final edge, since I just haven't got this quite figured out yet. I don't know if you can even see me. It's getting so dark in here. Uh, I am going to be about two inches long on this end. So I'm going to take it back and do one final cut. Uh, the measurements top to bottom, I mean it couldn't fit better. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I do have one little wrinkle over there. Again when I close the actual shades it won't matter but because I've got these little retractable shades that can close as well. But don't even know why you need them if you use this. So uh, I'm going to cut that last couple inches off and then show you the final intake. Uh, intake the inside and then also how it looks from the outside and how easy it is to put in and take out again once we get the final final cuts all right install in real time everything's out of the way got my curvature here the way that it's set up I'm gonna start at one end kind of unfurl it starting at this end over here Higher pressure monitoring system out of the way there. And there it is, real time install. Inside edges. All up to the glass. 
top edge wrapped around the side curvatures of the glass. Got a little bit tight right down here at the corner, but I can live with it. Um, around the curvature edge of that glass there. Again, at nighttime, why would we need these? I don't really know. We could pull those closed as well, but I mean, it's not unattractive. It's just silver. And a quick look at the outside. There's the outside wrapped around the edge. Top to bottom. Didn't realize how tinted that actually was until, until that was on there. But uh, yeah, now it wraps all the way around. It's just one solid piece. It wraps clear around, around to the edge. It blocks out all the light and blocks out all the heat. And again, I had enough that I'm gonna go ahead and cut a, a secondary one just to keep. I think by rolling this up, it'll keep that curvature, which will help the install as well. Uh, taking it down should be just as easy. Let's find out. Taking this thing down should go down about as easy as it went in. I'll start at one edge, kind of peel it out of there. Get out of there, you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and just roll it as I pull it out of there. I think you can bend this product. Uh, I don't know that I'd want to store it bent for an extended period of time, because I think you might lose some of that natural curvature to it. Uh, what I plan on doing is just taking this and curling it up kind of tight, tighter than this, and then just putting a band around it. And then I've got a closet back here, I'll show you. We come on to the back. I plan, I'm just taking this and storing it in this closet with a vacuum cleaner or a clam tent and a bunch of other long apparatus umbrellas and things that we store on that side there. And that's where I'm going to store it. As an added bonus and one final thing, I will also show you with the other shades drawn, the original shades that were the little corrugated shades. We still got those. They were light filtering, but they did never black out. I mean, now with that in combination of that silver behind it, it is black. It's going to be dark. These are these shades uh, here that we did purchase and put these on. These are these MCD shades. If you haven't had a chance, I would definitely go check them out. They're pricey, but those are some blackout shades that we went in and put on the rest, rest of the RV to black that out. Now that the front is done, I think we will eliminate most of the solar heat gain coming in to this RV and should make southern trips much more enjoyable. Thanks for watching. If you did find this helpful, I encourage you to go down and like and subscribe. It'll definitely help us get more subscribers and get more interesting content headed your way real soon.